Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to sync your calendar um, and your Zoom account and set up a calendar on Leadstack. So whenever you're in your account, I'm gonna look something like this based on your account type. When you click on settings, come this up here, click on settings, you'll see my profile right here. So I'll click on my profile, um, make sure all this is filled out. And then you're gonna scroll down to where it says integrations. Um, you're going to connect your Zoom account. So let me just go ahead and disconnect it and reconnect it real fast just to show you what, what it looks like. So I click connect. Um, Zoom will pop up. Make sure you're logged in. I'm going to real quick log into my Zoom account here. And that's all you do, and it's connected right here. So you see how it says, now it says disconnect. So my Zoom account is connected, great. So now I have a way to do Zoom calls um, automatically. You have an automatic link in the calendar. Okay, next, you, know, you, you go down to email where it says email two-way sync. So I'm actually going to disconnect, just so I can show you. So here's my options, Outlook and Gmail. Click on Gmail. Always prefer Gmail if you can. It's much better. Um, click on my specific Gmail I want to connect. I guess double click, click continue. Scroll down and you'll see it says connected. Okay, cool. So now that I have these two things connected where it's email two-way sync and the integration right here, um, you're also going to, going to make sure your calendar configuration is correct, okay? So click edit primary calendar. So we have a primary calendar, a support calendar that the whole team is going to see. And because I want to onboard my whole entire team. Um, so we'll, we, you, you set your primary calendar. Okay. So I have mine as a support at Cloud Panther, the primary calendar. Um, and I have a specific um, lead stack calendar, which is called discovery call. <clears throat> that is... Uh, that is selected here. Okay, I'm gonna click save. But when I check for conflicts, this is important. So on my specific calendar, I have appointments, I have things coming up, etc. I don't want demos to go onto my calendar. And I can also have multiple uh, emails here that I'm checking for conflicts or multiple calendars. So say I have three or four business names, three or four business calendars. Um, the places I want to check for conflicts are Zach at cloudpayment.com. Uh, if I had other ones, I could do that as well. Or other, um, if someone else has their personal calendar, they don't want to, they, they don't want to necessarily have it uh, inside lead stack makes sense. We can basically make sure that uh, if something is blocked off there. You don't have to worry about it. Um, double booking you, et cetera, uh, which is good for optimization, good for optimization in the future. Okay. So now that these are all set up here in that, in that order. So it's real quick, we set up zoom. Uh, we set up the, the email two way sync. We set up the calendar configuration here. You're going to go up to user availability and meeting location. This is a big deal. You're going to want to set it to Zoom, okay? You could set it to Google Meet if you want to, but um, Zoom gives an automatic output link. I guess you could also use Google Meet if you want to. We use Zoom in our, over here, so that's, that's why I'm putting that there. Um, and it will create a specific Zoom link for that specific um, meeting upcoming. You can set your availability as well. Uh, I've had this wrong before in the past, make sure it sets your time. So mine's American CDT America, Chicago time's up. Um, you can click update availability and say, okay, what's going to happen is every single place that you have your mean location will now be updated dynamically with your zoom link. Okay. You can do other things in here as well too, but basically th those are how you set up your initial integrations for zoom for your email two way sync. And then of course for your primary calendar. And then lastly, I'm going to go back real quick. Um, you'll see an option here where it says calendars. If you're on the correct plan, uh, see how our team's here. And uh, we have, I can see my my team throughout this, this calendar view. Um, you're gonna wanna set up your uh, your your calendar. So you can, you can go to calendar settings and you can create a new calendar. Uh, when you, I'll just go ahead and show you. So I'm gonna say there's four options here, okay? If you're using a team and you want to optimize for whoever is available, use the term round robin, just like Calendly or other, other types. Um, it's super helpful, but you can pick which one you want, or you can have a simple calendar as well. Um, so I can name this calendar whatever I want to. I can select what team members are on here. Um, I can even have a little custom URL example as well. 
Um, when you create that calendar, then you can go to this three dots right here and click edit. Uh, you can always go back and uh, update it, et cetera. But this is where you can add your teammates. So if your teammates have their location set, so see Ollie has Zoom connected, I have Zoom connected, um, and then so does Robert. Make sure he has Zoom connected as well too. I'm gonna click save real fast. Um, they can change the color, uh, et cetera. But all their calendars are hooked in to LeadStack. And so all of their Zooms are also hooked in. So now this will work dynamically as, as our discovery call. Of course, we, we can set availability here as well too. So you can go through that and uh, check availability and go through some of these settings. You can even accept payments here as well. Um, your acknowledgement email is by default. Who gets it, you can select as well. And then for customizations as well, you can uh, look through this in case in case you want to uh, update any of those settings. So you click save right here. <clears throat> and so discovery call, that's how you manage who's on it. That's how you make sure your account um, has the account, your, your own personal calendar hooked in, and then uh, your Zoom account as well uh, is also set up correctly. Um, you, you may get asked to go to connections and make sure you're connected correctly to where you're going to check for conflicts. Um, so again, this is where you can set your main integration calendar. We, we use support. You can just put your own here if you'd like to. Make sure two-way two, two sync is turned on. And then, of course, discovery call is the uh, is now the calendar we, we put here. You want to click execute automations to keep it turned to on. And then also check for conflicts. So keep in mind, like, when you are logged in to, so see how my Zoom's attached here as well too, my, my calendar is right here. Um, when you are logged in uh, to your specific account, so in this case, it's Zach Cloud Piano, that's the calendar I'm setting up. So don't get it confused. If you have multiple emails, multiple calendars, whoever you are logged in as, that's the calendar you're setting up for that specific account. I've been tripped up in the past where I've been trying to get this set up quickly and I'm logged into the wrong account. I'm trying to add the support account. It's a support calendar. Just keep in mind, your calendar is your personal calendar. It's your, or your I'm sorry, personal business. It is your calendar for your account. So whatever you're logged in as, and in this case, I'm logged into my Gmail for Zach Clapino, that's the calendar I'm hooking up in this connections section. Okay. So if you have questions about that, just let us know. But if you have any trip ups as well, uh, those, those are kind of the steps you make sure you go to, so here it is in reverse, just so you, so you know, uh, select my profile, make sure your zoom is connected, make sure you have, uh, email two way sync connected, make sure your primary calendar is selected and check for conflicts is your calendar as well. Make sure your meeting location for user availability is set to zoom. So they'll automatically be that every time. Um, and of course, when you go to calendars, you can create a new calendar, make it round robin for you and your team, or you can just have a simple calendar as just your calendar. And then when you go to connections, make sure you, make sure you understand your connection preferences and your calendar integration is setting to whatever account you are logged in as. So if you have multiple user accounts, uh, just, just just double check and make sure. Okay. So uh, then Zoom will be confirmed here as well too. So it's kind of multiple ways to make sure you are connected. Just want to make sure you know. That's how you get it done. That's how you get it started. So hope it's helpful. And of course, if you want to share your um, your link to your calendar, you can click copy permanent link. And then that, that will be copied to your calendar. Wherever your lead is, you can send that link to them. And up pops that calendar that we just set up. And they can set up times on you and your team's calendar. Simple as that. Hope this is helpful. Excited to get you going. If you have any questions, just let us know. Talk soon.